All right, this is my, actually my second and final attempt at doing a video on this cigar. This is the Regis Orshant 2015. And I'll tell you why this is my second attempt next on The Land Your Life. vlogger or a video logger uh, is pretty interesting stuff. Um, for me, I basically go out and I get uh, some cigars that are rare or that I like or that are popular on Cigar Aficionado and I go out and I smoke them. But what happens if you do a video review of a cigar that you only have one of and they don't make them anymore. That's pretty, that's pretty difficult. Uh, and that's almost what happened to me with this Regis Orchant. So um, the only place that I have seen the Regis Orchant uh, was at the Tobacconist, uh, a, a, a shop in Chicago called uh, Benny's. Benny's is a liquor emporium uh, and they have absolute fantastic cigars. I'll probably talk about Benny's in one of my other uh, videos or on my blog, blog site. And as you can see from the video I will show sometime throughout the video, these cigars were uh, produced in 2015. So let me first give you something about the cigar. The uh, Regis Cigars, is a cigar company owned by uh, uh, a guy named uh, Khalil uh, Akil, Akil Kapesi. Uh, and Orshant uh, is a reference to um, Mitchell Orshant, who is a, a guy who I think owns Alfie Trinaeus Tobacconist, uh, a, a tobacco shop and magazine and online ordering place uh, in London, England. Uh, these two guys collaborated for the first uh, Regis Orshant in 2013. Uh, it was a Robusto. Uh, they did it again in 2014. They did two sizes, a Robusto and a Torpedo. And in 2015, they came out with the Torpedo and the Hermoso. This is actually a Hermoso. And you can see on the band, it's got the 2015, totally legit. Uh, the Eagles won the Super Bowl. So, you know, for those of you who think I'm doing something with time, I like to mention that anyway, because all life begins after the Eagles win the Super Bowl. So, uh, you know that this is a cigar that I've, in fact, been holding on to uh, now, uh, entering its, what, third, third, fourth year, 2015 and 16, 17, 18. Um, only 400 boxes of these cigars came to the U.S. Benny's uh, was able to get their hands on uh, a, a good number of them. Uh, in 1991, uh, I'm sorry, in 2014, uh, these cigars, uh, uh, the, the 2014 batch, received a 91 in Cigar Aficionado uh, and scores of 95 and higher in some European cigar uh, 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 enthusiasts and tobacco magazines and stuff like that. Anyway, so it was very well received, very popular. Don't see any ratings for the 2015 batch. Uh, and I do know they're coming out with one, I believe, in 2018. So they've skipped 16 and 17. They're coming out with one in 2018. All right, so that's a cigar. Nicaraguan Puro, not the first one I've had. I'm gonna go ahead and cut and light this thing up uh, and I'll tell you, you know, why I really dig these cigars. Here we go.
Got a nice cherry red uh, foot. So now, this is a, a review about a couple different things. One, I'll talk about the scar. But the other thing is, look, this is a Nicaraguan Puro. It says a lot uh, about this cigar, the fact that it's highly acclaimed in the place where you can get Cuban cigars like, you know, you go to the corner store and pick up a pack of Winston's, okay? Um, good collaboration. They've done three, and I think I said they're, they're, they're working on their fourth one. Uh, and they can do that when you, you've got some good, good quality tobacco. So I didn't do a whole lot of research on the background of this because I know you can't get it. You can't get it. You can't find this cigar. You got to find somebody who already has a box and get it. And I think that is, that's all right. Um, my whole spiel about this, the first video that I shot, was really about go out and treat yourself to some rare sticks. And listen, you can't necessarily wait until all the acclaimed places rate the cigar for you to know that you should go and get it. I encourage people, if you see a cigar limited production, rare, depending on your budget. My budget's a little tight right now. It wasn't when I got this um, or got these. Get, 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 get a couple sticks, stick them in your box and just let them sit there. I mean, what's the harm? You might be holding on to a unicorn. You never know, something rare and wonderful and beautiful. Um, Take a stinking chance on your cigars. Stop smoking the same daggone thing day after day after day after day after day. You might like something different, and that is what this was. I'm one of these guys that if somebody tells me that it's one of a kind or two of a kind and ten of a kind, the cigar is like a $9 cigar. It didn't even break the bank. Get yourself something rare. Smoke something that you get to sit around with the boys and you pull out something out of your box. People are like, what's that? Where can I get one? You can't, you know? Just a little pride, male pride, ego thing, collector thing. Go ahead out and, and try something like this. Not a lot of descriptors online of this joker either because not too many people had it. So let me get into that right now. This is a Nicaraguan Puro that's going to give you um, walnutty type sweetness. It's that bitter sweet thing you get from a, 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 a walnut uh, that's earthy, little leathery, little dark, cocoa-y, little uh, earthy. Um, but the only sweetness is that kind of sweetness you might find in a, in a walnut. Um, it's that dry walnut uh, uh, sweetness. Uh, not peppery whatsoever. If you're looking for this Nicaraguan to bring pepper and heat, not your guy. Uh, I have also smoked the 2014 uh, when I was out in, in uh, Chicago when these jokers came out and they were kind of similar um, this is a complex cigar it's a very complex cigar there's a lot of things going on now at the start they typically have not been balanced to me uh, but as you continue to uh, ease on down the road as I like to say get towards the uh, 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 past the first third kind of settles down becomes balanced but it's it's those earthy it's 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 just an earthy stick uh, not floral not sweet not herbal um, and none of the cookie spices so this is something that I would enjoy paired with a nice cup of 
uh, of a, a dark roast coffee or even for this one an espresso they would just play back and forth together real well um, as for being a blogger vlogger listen when you want to do something like this uh, what I have an appreciation for is people who put together television shows and all that, that stuff because doing these blogs, even though they're kind of spur of the moment, for me they take a lot of pre preparation. Now, I'm not trying to be professional, but I'm trying to make sure I have some content that makes sense that people can follow and will want to follow and all. So I take my time and I try to shoot a video of the scar, cue the video. Uh, that uh, gives you a closer look at the cigar because uh, while I'm driving you can't necessarily see what I'm doing come back see I got to get to a stoplight I also have to pick an environment where I can do this and not be interrupted and really the only environment I can do this is in my car which is why I choose to do my videos in in, 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 in the ride now you can see today is an overcast day but I've been wanting to do this for a while the first one I shot was about two or three weeks ago I haven't published any content but boom there you go the other thing I do is I take notes uh, I do do some research I write my notes down and sometimes when you see my eyes glancing back and forth it's because I'm checking out my notes I try to always give you the blend. I try to always give you the size of the cigar. And in some cases, the si size of the cigar comes in. I try to do research on what other experts and people have said the tasting profiles are. Because partly what I'm doing is I'm seeing if the cigar tastes as advertised or if my taste buds give me something different. Sometimes you get that information. In this case, you don't. It's my own notes and observations of 2015. Uh, I also try to tell you what the blend consists of. Rocky Patel does not tell you what the hell is in their cigars. They do not disclose necessarily their blends. Some cigars are so open, they tell you the particular regions in Nicaragua, whether it's Jalapa or Esteli, where the, you know, the, 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 the tobacco comes from. Um, with Casa Fernandez, you know a lot of their stuff is coming from the Agronorsa conglomeration. So I try to give that kind of quality information on the videos too, and that stuff takes research. Uh, this is a great cigar. Sorry to see it go. This thing hang around in the box like I said three years I mean that's just flat out fact um, but uh, if you like the video please click like uh, this one didn't have a, all the other rich detail but this was really kind of just having a conversation about a cigar and about stuff while I'm riding over to a buddy's house this is the big fella Charles Kelly with the Lance of Life Wishing you a happy Memorial Day. Today is Memorial Day. It'll probably get out there. Eh, I'll post it tomorrow. Uh, on uh, actually the holiday. Uh, you all take care. Peace, peace, and a bucket of grease.